um, is the uh, you, you've got a promo at the beginning of the show, right? Where he's, yeah. um, he goes, "Hi, this is Mr. Susan," and he sounds like uh, whichever one that, whichever guy in the band that is, it just sounds really laid back and chilled out and everything. You listen to their music and it's so intense. And you're like, "How did that guy make that?" <laughs> 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 it's just so uh, so bizarre, but ah, oh, brilliant, brilliant band, and it's just like you got to play that loud. That's the thing. It's it's really difficult sometimes when it's like, you know, you're sitting here and it's half two in the morning. You're like, well, how much can I get away with without waking yeah. up the neighbours? And sometimes I just think, sod it. And that's one of those times when I wake them up, they'll love it. <laughs> it's a great tune. Uh, so that was cranked high in my house, I can tell you. That was brilliant. Right on. And well, you know what? With them, I mean, the last time I talked to them, I said, guys, I sound so tired of the band. And uh, well, the guys said, like, well, well, we all have beards. So I was like, well, okay, well, that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> so like, that's, that's, a, that's a sign of a tight band right there really really funny guys like a lot of fun let me tell you so next <laughs> up we have a brand new song from Lemony Kid this is off his brand new EP called Program Electricity the song is called Synthesizer dig this Lemonade Kid with the synthesizer off his new EP, Program Electricity. A very cool tune, like a very melodic. Uh, I love the mixes, love his vocals. It's a great tune. That's an outstanding tune. I, I mean, we played something by Lemonade Kid a couple of weeks ago when I was on the show, and I was just like, oh, who's this guy? This is really, really good. That's me. Last last week, you guys were really kind. I listened back to the show, and you, you kept mentioning me in spirit, and, and right. I feel like <laughs> this is one of those moments where Brian 
Brian is here in spirit because Brian's there going, oh, listen to that bass, listen to that synth, I can hear, I want to know what he's doing with that, I want to, you can hear him yeah. on Brian all this, like, <laughs> in the distance, right? Uh, and he would absolutely dig that, I hope he listens back because he's going to love that tune uh, if he hasn't heard it already, that's a fantastic tune by Lemonade Kid and uh, yeah, I just, I hope he keeps it going, man. That's the kind of thing that really turns me on about electronic music, so, you know, most people know I'm, I'm kind of a, you know, dirty rocker and not that I'm dirty, but I like dirty rock music. <laughs> um, you know, and I'm into my guitar riffs and everything else. But there are certain things uh, that really, you know, I've got a really wide range, of, wide taste of, eclectic taste of music, I think is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and that's one of those things. Things that just really anyone that's a rock fan or a heavy metal fan or whatever. I had a mate once that was well into uh, dubstep. He absolutely loved his dubstep. And when I started talking to him, I realised that when he was growing up, he used to listen to like Sepultura and bands like that. And I'm like, oh, I get it because it's kind of that. And that Lemonade Kid tune is a bit like that for me. That's kind of all of the stuff that I grew up on, all the kind of grungy and 90s alternative influences and all the um, industrial stuff all comes together in that. And okay, it hasn't actually got that in it, but it's got that feeling to it, which is just pretty it's so good to hear it's a really really good tune right on so next up is a brand new one we haven't heard anything from you guys in a long time this band's called audio kings of the third world this one's called the be my friend dig this Kings of the Third World with Be My Friend. That's her newest single out now on their band camp and a really cool tune. Haven't heard anything from these guys in a while, but they're super badass. They just really tripped out and like it got so many influences wrapped into one, but great tune. Oh, isn't it isn't it just a great tune? It's it's got the the Wah Wah support group and again I'm missing one man standing right now because he'd be just uh-huh. like creaming over that offline <laughs> you know, uh-huh. going in my basement I can feel that they're in my basement uh, man the, 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 the Wah Wah thing going on at the end was absolutely delightful to hear and we absolutely love that on the show obviously 
Uh, just the whole general vibe of the song really reminded me of kind of, it had a bit of Iggy Pop, a bit of the Stone Roses, a bit of like Oasis and that kind of thing going on. Uh, and then it just had this whole atmospheric thing running through, which reminded me of uh, Code Ascending that we've played on the show before. We've got a really good sense of atmosphere in their music and it really kind of uh, hit that vibe as well and um, really really good tune really really um you know again it's the kind of music that makes you smile and that's what i love about this show uh, we just play so much cool stuff and that's brilliant really really cool tune all right and just before we get to the next song uh, just to let you know in april we have a busy month we have an interview with with a fox they'll be in studio so they'll be with us and hopefully jamming a couple of tunes as well so we'll have them we'll have harry who is ill-advised as well We'll have Polaris Rose, so we'll have Peter and Maddie from Polaris Rose as well. We get a busy month of interviews and some great uh, bands coming up. Let me tell you, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of new stuff coming out. So next up, we have a brand new one by Sophia Vondel, who's done a lot of remixes and just done remixes for Analog Wave. So one hers, this is her newest tune called Lonesome Town. Dig this. Sophia Von Dell with Lonesome Town. Now, I was telling Mike off here, he's going to like what I have to say about this song. Uh, I am part of the Sophia because she's got a great voice. But this song in particular was really early, at least to me, was early reminiscent of the early 50s and 60s. And honestly, man, she sounded like Julie Andrews of Mary Poppins. And that's a huge compliment. Like, well done. Like, that was crazy good. Like, I loved it. Oh man, that's that's you're right. I really did enjoy listening to that uh, <laughs> the song and also what you just uh, said is bang on. Um, that is just lovely, it's stunning. I mean, it really her voice is like glass. It's just beautiful. It's so fragile. You you just want to be really careful with it and um, not clatter into it, drunk and drop it anywhere or anything like uh, that. And um, what, what, what's um, what's brilliant about this is. Uh, we were talking earlier about um, you know naming tracks and tagging tracks because we we thought it was called Over the Wall Bar and it's just called Over the Wall by uh, Dylan T- Dylan T Rock sorry. And um, what's brilliant is when I got this one through, uh, all of it was in caps. So it's, uh, you 
know, it's, it, it sounds like they're shouting. And when you listen to the song, it's like the most opposite song that should oh. be in capital letters ever. Like, this should be in tiny, tiny writing on a cloud somewhere. <laughs> it's well, it's so uh, soft and graceful, right? So. Oh, isn't it just? It's just beautiful. That piano sound was lush as well. That was just so beautifully done with what again brian would love that i don't know if it's like a reverb thing or a microphone position or however they've done that um is absolutely beautiful because it's just there but not quite there and it just fades and resonates and it's really really lush um i really i mean i haven't got enough good things to say about that. that's 